I'm gonna show you how to set up autoplaying Vimeo videos inside of Elementor with no Vimeo controls, titles or other unwanted elements showing. Zero of those. And really important, it's gonna be an actual video, not a background video inside of a container, which means that the proportions are gonna stay the exact same on all screen sizes. And that's perfect for hero section videos, portfolio videos, product showcases and all kinds of awesome videos you want to show on your website. It works with vertical videos and other formats as well. We can also set the video to loop so it's always playing. And this works with both the free and the premium versions of Vimeo. Plus you can add in an image that shows up before the video loads so you get a nice smooth transition from a static image into the actual video. We don't need any additional plugins and we won't even be using Elementor's video widget. Which means that this does work with other WordPress page builders as well. Does all of that sound too good to be true? Well, it isn't. It's actually really simple, so let's get into it. Now let me just mention that there are two reasons that we're gonna be using Vimeo instead of YouTube. The first is that Vimeo is just better for embedding videos on websites in general at least in my experience. And the second is that YouTube doesn't allow getting rid of the controls and their styling when you're embedding videos from their platform. Which means that this particular method and what we're trying to achieve doesn't actually work with YouTube videos. The first step is to upload your video to Vimeo. In my case, I just used a small segment of one of my videos. And that video is available on my channel and it's very interesting, just saying. Once you have your video uploaded to Vimeo, you're gonna go under that video and press share. When you're here, press embed and then copy embed code. Once we have the embed code, we need to add a couple of things to it. To edit it, I like to use Notepad just because it's so quick and easy, but you can do this with any software you want. And obviously you can do it directly inside of the HTML widget that we're gonna be using in a moment. But I'm gonna paste it into Notepad. So once I do that, the next part is the most important. In your embed code, you're gonna notice this question mark. We need to add the first part of our code right after this question mark. So after the question mark, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste in this. This and everything else you need will be available down below so you can just copy and paste it in and get this done very quickly and very easily. This is gonna make the video autoplay, it's gonna mute it, and it's gonna remove all of the other controls and any other elements that usually show up when embedding videos. And the reason we're muting the video is because you definitely want videos that autoplay to be muted. Both because it's a really bad user experience if sound starts playing by itself, and because certain browsers, like Chrome, actually do not allow it and will not play the video if it's not muted. Before we get into the second part of the video, if this is helpful, please make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Be a doer, not just a viewer. It really does help me out a whole lot. Once we have our code ready, we're gonna go into Elementor. Again, this works with any page builder, so the process should be the same pretty much everywhere. We're gonna add in a container. I already have that prepared, and inside of that container, we're gonna go ahead and add in an HTML widget. So I'm just gonna search up HTML widget, and I'm gonna drag it in here. Inside of that HTML widget, under content, we're gonna paste in our code. So I'm gonna copy and paste this in. At this point, the video should begin autoplaying. And it has zero controls, so nothing's ruining the aesthetic and users can't interact with the video. And it's on an endless loop, so it's gonna play over and over and over again. But we're not done yet. There are three more important things we need to go over. First, if we check how this looks on an actual page, so if I go ahead and publish this and refresh the page, you're gonna see that the video doesn't show up until it fully loads. We don't want that. We want an image that shows up before the video loads so we don't have a bunch of empty space. We're gonna solve that by going into our container and we're gonna go under style. Over here, we're gonna go under background and under background type, we're gonna choose classic and then we're gonna add in our image. So I'm gonna upload my image. I really recommend that for the image, you add in a screenshot of the first frame of the video. That way it's gonna seamlessly transition into the actual video, which makes the loading process as smooth as possible. Set the image position to center, center, set the repeat to no repeat, and set the display size to cover. And just a heads up, you might have to repeat this process for the tablet and mobile versions. 
Elementor is just kind of buggy like that sometimes. And when it comes to Elementor's buggy nature, one thing I also really recommend is that you go into your HTML widget, go under advanced and set the width to full width. That's going to prevent the bug where your content starts overlapping on tablet and mobile. I use this method a lot, especially when it comes to images. Let's publish this and head on over to our live page. I'm going to refresh it and you're going to see that before the video loads, our image is not showing up instead of empty space. And because I chose the first frame of the video as the background image, the transition is nice and smooth. Just keep in mind that each video needs to be in its own container. If you add in something else to the video's container besides the HTML widget, you're going to notice that the background image shows up behind that as well, which we definitely don't want. The same goes for padding. Your video container should have no padding for the same reason. The background image is going to be showing up. Now you might ask, can I add the image to the HTML widget directly? Yes, yes you can. But there are two reasons I never do it that way. The first reason is that I just prefer having each video in its own separate container, which is pretty much a personal choice that works better with my workflow. And the second reason is more practical. If we put each video inside of its own container, we can make that container clickable. And if the only thing inside of that container is our video, we can essentially add links to our videos directly, which can be really useful. There's one more thing you need to do to get that to work. And we're going to go over that in a second. First, let's just take a look at how to add a border radius to your videos to get nice rounded edges. There are two steps to this. The first step is modifying the code a little bit. So this time I'm going to modify it inside my HTML widget directly. This time we need to find this part style equals and then quotation marks before the closing quotation marks. We're just going to type in border minus radius colon 15 px. So 15 pixels. Of course, this value can be anything you want it to be. Now our video has a nice border radius, but the background image is still showing on the edges. And in my case, nothing really happens because the background of the video is purple as well. So to fix this, we need to go into our container, go under style, border and set the border radius to the same value. So in my case, 15 pixels. And as soon as I do that, you're going to see that my video now has nice rounded edges. And if your background image is applied to the HTML widget directly, same thing, go into the widget, go under advanced border and set the border radius. The last step is ensuring we can actually click our video. Let's go ahead and go into the container that has our HTML widget inside of it. Go under layout, go under additional options and set the HTML tag to a link. Now we can add in our link and choose our link options. I'm just going to add in a link to a very cool channel and then I'm going to make sure it opens up in a new window and then I'm going to press publish. I'm going to refresh the page and even after doing that, the video can be clicked. Nothing happens. The actual container itself is clickable, which we can see if I add in a heading. So if I add in a heading over here, press publish, refresh the page. I can click the heading, I can click around the heading and everywhere, basically where the container is. But as soon as I hover over the video, it's not clickable, even though it should be. But worry not to make this work, we just need to add a bit of extra CSS to our embed code. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the heading, I'm going to go back into my HTML widget. And then I'm going to go under content and I'm going to find the same part style equals and just before the closing quotation marks, I'm going to type in pointer minus events colon none and end it with a semicolon just like this. I'm going to publish this and I'm going to refresh the page. And here is our final result, a perfectly responsive, fast loading, auto playing, looping, clickable video with absolutely no controls, titles or any unwanted elements. Perfect. If this video was helpful, first make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons and then go check out this video next. If you found this video interesting, I guarantee you're going to find that one very interesting as well. Thank you for watching.